Good Monday. I'm Aaliyah, and welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Good morning. With us today is my good buddy, Spencer Boo. He is a clinical psychologist. That's right? correct. Yep. Could you explain this to us? What does that mean? Sure. Yeah. Uh, clinical psychologist. Um, I was trained in uh, testing and uh, personality assessment. Mm -hmm. and uh, working with people mm -hmm. uh, who may be experiencing some difficulties and transitions in life. Mm -hmm. And um, I have uh, myself focused on working with people with developmental disabilities and also um, adolescents who are in uh, legal and having maybe family problems, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. One thing I want to tell about uh, Spencer is his wife says that in their whole life together, she has seen him angry like one time. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, so he lives by this rule. Yeah, I think we're doing angry and irritable. I think they're, I'm irritable maybe more, more often. <laughs> more often. <laughs> really angry. You know, the angry side <laughs> of it. Right, right, right. She <laughs> says like he has never been difficult. It's yeah. so easy to be he live with. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. So you use your tools then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try it to, works. Yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Spencer, tell us why Mondays are great. Well, Mondays are um, a chance to um, start off the week fresh. You have a list of, I have a list of things I need to get done during the week, mm -hmm. and Monday is a great day to get started with that. I have some difficulties getting rolling, so I try to make my um, Mondays things that I enjoy doing, um, and that helps me get started for the week. That's great. So would you say that's the way you would kickstart your Monday is yep. doing things you enjoy and kind of getting yourself in that mood of... Yep, definitely, definitely. Try to um, try to set appointments that, um, that I look forward to and to um, just try to um, make it a day that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. So you don't see Sharona on Monday? No, no, Sharona's definitely a Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. He's a Thursday, yeah. 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 That's right. So, that's right. Uh, so as a clinical psychologist, what kind of advice can you give to others so that they can make their Mondays great? Because a lot of people, they get up on Monday and they're like crazily upset. And, you know, sure. It's another day sure. to me, right? Yeah, what, what I would say is to set a uh, very specific short-term goals for yourself. Um, say by uh, 10 o'clock, I'm gonna get this one thing done and then take a few minutes to relax. And then uh, after lunch, say one o'clock, two o'clock, I'm going to uh, get this other thing done. And then you have two things that you finish during the day that you can feel good about and pat yourself on the back. Mm -hmm. and get ready for Tuesday. Yeah. Well, that's great advice. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I really do. That's Thanks really good that, advice. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Well, um, what I have kind of distilled, uh, you know, I feel like there's different things that I've focused on at different times in my life. And right now I'm really focusing on loving, uh, loving one another. Um, if I uh, have people that I'm working with, um, you know, as colleagues, um, or possibly clients that I'm having a difficult time mm -hmm. uh, uh, interacting with or really uh, making a difference. I, I really uh, look to that person and really focus on them as just being a, uh, a brother or sister, a human being, a child of God, mm -hmm. um, and just really uh, love them. And I found that uh, if you put love first, mm -hmm. then um, the other things you know, things that might uh, irritate us about one another, things mm -hmm. that um, are different about us, mm -hmm. uh, they can kind of uh, become less important if you really uh, look at the person and love them. No, you're right. Yeah, but what I noticed is like your whole family, all four of you guys have this same mentality. Oh, okay, Did you coach good. them or you just no, 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 no. In <laughs> fact, I'm sure they've taught me more about that than yeah. I've taught them. Yeah, uh, because your daughter, your son, your mm -hmm. wife, they all kind of have that same mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, that's that's something that you know I can't take credit for that. I think uh, they are loving people, and um, and they certainly uh, they certainly do love people as well. And I know that they've taught me through interacting with their friends mm -hmm. and um, and uh, with people that they meet that they they do show that as well. That's and, really neat. That's I like that. I want to meet them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 In fact, I invited today. To her, she couldn't make it because oh, she yeah. had the daughter's baptism. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so, if, Spencer, if you were to have one superpower, yes, 
what would you have? I know you're already super, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I'm you tempted. You don't get angry. I'm yeah. not even that's a superpower. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm tempted to get sort of uh, philosophical with this question and take it to a different level, but I'm just going to answer in a concrete manner. I think it'd be fun to fly. Oh, okay. So uh, I think that's something I used to dream about as a child, and mm -hmm. if I could fly around, that would be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not angry. <laughs> right, not angry. No, just fine. So Filled with love. <laughs> yeah. Tell us something about you that would surprise people who think they know you. Well, um, I think it's the type of thing that would surprise maybe some people, but obviously some other people wouldn't surprise. But uh, a couple of years ago, my cousin was selling his uh, motorcycle, and I, um, I bought it from him uh, because he was selling it for a great price. And I was kind of in the back of my mind wanted to have a motorcycle. And um, I found that I, I rode it much too fast because whenever there'd be an open stretch of road, I would just try to fill it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, at some point I realized that the risk was too high yeah. for the enjoyment, so I had to sell it after about four months. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, a little bit of a thrill seeker there, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, how do people get hold of you? Like, what's your phone number? And sure, it. sure. Uh, my phone number is uh, 417 4885. Mm -hmm. um, That's 260, right? 260, yep, okay. yep. That's my phone number. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can uh, feel free to call um, if you have any questions or mm -hmm. want to talk uh, talk about anything. Talk about how not to be angry. I'm, still, I'm still stuck on that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. So, anyway. We would like to thank Spencer for coming sure. and joining thank us you. today. We would like thank to thank you, you the audience, for joining in. And we are recording at New Ground Coffee Company. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.